Hi, Ms. Smith. Uh, I'm looking at your question. Uh, are schools uh, actually going to open? And that is a huge uh, question that I don't have the answers to yet. Um, I think we're, part of the problem we're having is that the guidance that we're getting both from the state and from the federal government around health regulations keeps shifting. So every time we try to make plans, the kind of the the floor underneath us shifts. Uh, and so we're constantly in, in a situation where it's hard for us to know. I would say up until a week ago, I think if I was a betting man, I would have, I would have said that we're probably going to be in some form of hybrid in the fall, partially remote, partially in person, and that we're going to have to figure that out. And the reason why I say that is we uh, received guidance uh, based on the CDC, most recent CDC guidance, which included things like on a bus, you should have a student and then skip a row, a student and then skip a row. Uh, and, that, and that type of idea applied to a lot of different uh, scenarios and some other tight restrictions where we suddenly started saying, I don't know how we come back in person in the fall or until there's a vaccine. Um, because that would mean we'd have about a quarter, just on transportation alone, we would have about a quarter um, of our bus. Uh, we can only use about a quarter of our bus space for kids. And we would be in a real pinch in terms of getting kids to school just in terms of transportation. And then when at school, how are we going to do all the social distancing we needed to do? And so we started, we were, we, we are building right now around a range of options. And this is why things are unbelievably difficult for us at the moment. We're, we're building from what if we came back in person with a lot of protective equipment and stuff to what if we were totally remote to all kinds of di different hybrid options. Things like what if we did um, a two day rotation where half of our student bodies was in on Mondays and Wednesdays and half of our student bodies was on Tuesdays and Thursdays and we did remote learning on Fridays. Uh, what if we did something like um, because we're concerned about the impact that um, that this is having, especially on our youngest students, would we bring back our youngest students first and then spread them out across multiple district buildings uh, in order to give uh, enough social distancing space? So there's a whole bunch of these different hybrid options that we're looking at. I will say that we're starting to hear some conversation from the state level, which would indicate there's a shift and that maybe it might be the, the folks who are on the health side are going to start to feel a little bit more comfortable with some concepts that might bring us back full time in the fall. But the reality is it's going to be the track of the virus, which is going to determine a lot of this stuff so that as we open up things in society more and in Vermont, if we start seeing a new you know, incline in the number of um, the number of uh, people who contract COVID-19, then um, that could shift us again. So what we're hearing from the state at this point is we should be planning around all the things we're trying to plan around right now, which is really a difficult task. Um, you know, the, the possibility of coming back full, the, the, um, the reality we might be in some type of hybrid, and then they want us to be able to quickly bounce back and forth between those things, depending on what happens on the ground. So we are, in addition to trying to close out the school year in the best possible way we can, I have teams of people who are working on all these different scenarios and trying to think about the ripple effect that, uh, of all the things that it, it goes out to. Food service, um, transportation, um, teachers and what pe teachers would we have on site and who would be off site and uh, all these types of things. Bus routes, do we have, if we were doing one of these scenarios where, where it's a hybrid, where we would we have families go at the same time? They would always be Mondays and Wednesdays. Could we pull that off logistically? There's so much planning to happen that right now the best answer I can give you is I do not know, um, but we are trying to plan for it all. And our, um, you know, our, you know, we think in-person education is a more effective model, um, especially for our youngest students. But in general, we think it's a more effective model. But I am going to hold everybody to the line on. Can we keep people safe? And if health, um, you know, if health professionals are giving us uh, specific guidance, we're going to follow that specific guidance, and then we're going to see where that where that uh, lands us. So I apologize. That's kind of a long answer, um, but I, I think it's the the best that I can give you, the most realistic at this moment. Uh, and I can't even tell you at what point during the summer would kind of be the drop dead date for us to make an announcement for what the fall is going to be. I just know that we're going to be scrambling over the course of the summer. Um, to be thoughtful about a variety of different options. Hope that helps.